by now I expect that most of the people here are familiar with the basics of the RFS program. The program was enacted as part of the Energy Independence and Security Act uh, of 2007, or as all of us know, ESA. We estimated that the RFS program will cut greenhouse gas emissions by 138 million metric tons and displace about 13.6 billion gallons of gasoline and diesel when fully implemented in 2022. But from 2007 through the second quarter of 2011, over $2.4 billion was invested in advanced biofuel production companies by venture capitalists alone. That doesn't include additional funding that has become available to this company. So looking ahead in 2013, and I'm an optimist by nature, by the way. I'm expected, I expect to see that this will be a year of continuing transition for the industry as many companies are shifting from their focus to demonstrate the technology to full commercialization. All this progress has happened in a relative short time frame when compare to how long it typically takes to bring new technology in the marketplace. Driven products for initial development to commercialization. What I'm hearing from these companies, if you take a look at the fact that we're talking about, indeed, advanced technologies and innovation. We're talking about pretty significant tough economic times. To have made that progress speaks very highly of the industry and the people that are working and supporting those efforts. And we at EPA, along with our colleagues, Department of Energy and USDA, and more importantly, with all of you, the industry, will continue to work together to do what we can to facilitate the growth of this market as Congress envisions.